Hi, my name is Robert and this channel is Welcome to Psychoactive Society and I haven't uh, I haven't been making videos recently but uh, I'm getting back at it because I have more topics that I want to talk about now and the particular topic for this video is going to be about ayahuasca and my journey or because I'm going to I'm going to an ayahuasca ceremony July of this summer I'm going in July I'm going down to Peru I'm going down to Iquitos and I'm having uh, an ayahuasca ceremony at um, the retreat center is Capatri it's a Capatri retreat that's the name and it's led by the shaman the shaman's name his name's Don Locho and his son is also a shaman so Don Locho and his son are gonna be the main shamans there and there's gonna be 13 other people from around the world that are going to this ayahuasca ceremony and I made the decision to go because I've known about ayahuasca for a while now. I've done research on it for about the past six months and I've become really interested in, you know, plant medicines, using plant medicines to help heal people, to help heal people's traumas, to, you know, open up people spiritually, you know, open up people emotionally, psychologically just bettering the human the human spirit the human body the human spirit you know getting you know people back into balance with their souls with their bodies with their relationships I become fascinated by plant medicines and, and the history of I've done a lot of research and there's a lot of history to plant medicines and their use in cultures all over the world for healing, for tradition, for culture, for thousands of years. And ayahuasca has been a medicinal plant medicine in South America, in Peru, in Bolivia, in Colombia, in Ecuador, all of these countries, South American countries, for thousands of years. This is an ingrained part of their culture. You know, this is not, you know, a recreational drug by any means at all. This is not something to be taken lightly. If you choose to go on an ayahuasca ceremony, you must have an intent. You have to have a reason for why you're going. That's more, that's deeper, that's more meaningful to yourself than just like, you know, smoking or doing mushrooms or the way our society sees drugs, you know, because our society sees these psychedelics, these entheogens as, you know, things that are gonna make you go crazy things that cause you to jump off windows to you know to hurt people and that make you violent all of these are you know stereotypes and myths in our Western society that aren't true you know there's actual applications there as actual uses with these plant medicines in a, in a correct comfortable set and setting that have a very powerful spiritual effect on every individual organism person chooses to partake in this experience so I was going to go in December but I didn't feel like I was ready and uh, up until a few almost about less than a week ago I made the decision to just buy my ticket no more waiting I'm just gonna go do it because you know, Mother Ayahuasca is calling me. That's what they say when you have an urge to go. Mother Ayahuasca is calling you. And I feel a calling to go. And I'm going to be going to Peru. Lima first. I'll be in Lima for one day. I'll spend one day in Lima, Peru, and then fly over to Aquitos and get to the... And then there's a... When I get to Aquitos, there's like a 25-minute... You know, ride to uh, the area, the city we're going to be in in Iquitos, the main central city, and then we're going to go through a 25-minute boat ride and then a 45-minute walk through the jungle until we get to the retreat center. And there's going to be four ayahuasca ceremonies in these retreats, 
and I'm really looking forward to it. I, I have time to prepare. I have to, I have to cleanse my body. It's recommended that you clean your body throughout. That way you work better with the medicine. If you go in with a lot of gunk, a lot of waste processed food, a lot of alcohol, a lot of drugs, you know, not in a good state, you know, my ayahuasca will, you know, she's gonna, my ayahuasca, it causes, ayahuasca is a jungle brew made of two Amazonian plants. It's made of Banasteropis capi, which is a really long vine that grows in Peru, in the jungle up a tree it's about a 75 foot vine and um psychotria verdis which is like uh you know green green leaves really big green leaves and that's that chemical contains the active ingredient dmt dimethyltryptamine that's in you know but it's it works differently with ayahuasca it causes a four to six hour experience with ayahuasca where really powerful you know visions come in and uh, different you enter different states of you know different dimensions of consciousness where you're able to go to states where you're not really able to be in tune at base, baseline consciousness everyday consciousness you elevate beyond baseline baseline consciousness and you enter different frequencies different levels of consciousness where you're able to extract or you're able to communicate with different entities and different you know spirits in a way in the jungle and you know and face yourself in a way so this is something that I am very passionate about and I need want people to know about this because it's this is healing at its roots this is really this is real healing this is not treating the symptoms the way our society does it this is healing curing our our trauma our pain our disease our addictions from the roots of who we are and it shakes us to the to, the, to our bones, to who we are, to what we think, it changes our perspective of our everyday reality because you, we understand, you understand after you partake in this experience that there is more to the world than just what we humans know. We think that us humans are the most highest intelligence. Nature is the most intelligent. Nature's been here long before, but we are essentially a part of nature and a part of the ayahuasca experience is learning how to integrate back into nature, to work with nature instead of destroying nature. The way, you know, our civilization does, what it does to nature, it, 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 it alienates it as, its, as a separate self, not attached to ourself, but nature is a part of us. And people are awakening to this realization. And that's why I have to do this and I have to get the word out and people need to know about this and I really can't wait because I'm really excited about doing this you know I feel like I found something I found a calling something that resonates with me a field that I want to help people in you know lifelong cause this is something I can see doing for the rest of my life helping people you know spiritually in a way you know right now it's illegal but over time Things are become more accepted, and there were, you know, science is going to under, have a, evidence to back up that these experiences are real. They're not hallucinations. They're real experiences that the individual, the organism, goes through, and that affects them in a way, like nothing else, you know. So, ayahuasca. That this this is a, uh, you know. It's gonna be an exciting time. It's gonna be a good summer. You know, I'm, I'm definitely gonna, those four ayahuasca ceremonies, I'm gonna learn a lot because I'm gonna be clean. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna let ayahuasca show me what she will, you know. I'll be ready to absorb her teachings and to integrate those teachings back into my life. You know, those are, it's still a few months ahead and I'm very, I'm, I'm preparing to now, you know. I have to buy my plane tickets. But I you know I'm cleaning my diet, meditation every single day, and yeah, you know. I just wanted to share that with all of you, get this message across. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoy these videos, please subscribe, like, comment, you know, let me know what's up, you know? Like, we're, we're, we're a community. We're all one. We're all one. So please, you know, have a great day. Stay positive. Stay meditating. Have a good day.